horses. Guess we all have at that. You'll arrive back at the Hound Pits at nightfall. There's not a whole lot to do right when you arrive back. However, there is a special scene with Emily in the tower if you want to go see her. Well done, Corvo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. If you took out the Pendletons non-lethally, Lord Pendleton will have left you a reward in your room. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. After waking I up, you'll find Emily in the room. Her in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always... Emily will react to the events of the game differently, depending on whether you get a high chaos rating or a low chaos rating, along with what you say to her in cutscenes. After speaking to Emily, you'll need to deal with Sokolov. Sokolov has information that you need, but he's not willing to reveal it. There are two ways to deal with this. Curious strategy. Of which I what if you get tired of questioning Sokolov? The high chaos method involves letting rats into his cell, and then he'll talk. The low chaos method Attention, involves going and buying a bottle of alcohol from Piero and giving it to him. I know. I couldn't bear it. The alcohol is rather cheap, and it gets Sokolov in your good graces. I also know that you can kill me at any time, and for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. I could use it. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. And I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned... Sokolov will inform you about a party going, going on this time. This party I becomes the location of our mission. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? Pendleton will give you a side quest for this mission. 
delivering a letter. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. The royal costume ball, huh? After entering the mission area, swim down this canal. There are a few items we can find in this map, and the easiest time to get them is right at the start of the mission. The first thing you can find is a rune at the bottom of the canal. This mission will introduce tall boys. Tall boys are guards on top of stilts. Wait for it. A couple of the stilts give tall boys an increased vision range. The stilts also mean that it is impossible to take out tall boys non-lethally. The only way to get rid of them is to kill them. So if you're going for a non-lethal playthrough, avoid them. Is that what you dreamed of? After speaking with the outsider, a few weepers will immediately spawn and enter the room you were in. Be sure to avoid them. After you've collected the items here, we're ready to go and enter the party. Corvo already has a mask and costume, so inside of the party, you actually don't need to worry about who's the scene. As long as you act like you're supposed to at the party, which means no weapons drawn and no power usage, then no one will notice anything. It's a fortress. Have you ever oh, there went my invitation. In order to get into the party, you need an invitation. The paper that just flew by is that invitation. Invitation, please. Give the paper to the guard at the counter, and he'll go around and unlock the door to let you inside. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tough. Right this way, sir. I'm going to have fun. Maybe we should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take it being easy. Shall we go? Something very important to note about this mission is the amount of money you can acquire. In the party, no one will get suspicious of you or turn you in if you pickpocket them. This is a high society party, and most of the patrons carry between 50 and 100 gold on them. If you steal from everyone and collect the rare paintings and items in the level, you can easily get several thousand gold. Collecting all of the money in this mission will leave you with enough to upgrade almost every single item in the game to its max level. Another party game. It was fun for a season. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy my... Yes.
This man is the target of the side quest that Pendleton sent Pendleton? us on. What Pendleton didn't What's tell us is that the letter he was delivering was for a duel. Pendleton You'll have to fight this man in a duel and kill him. Shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. A contest of Obviously, if you are going for a non-lethal run, then you probably shouldn't Lord shoot and Trevor kill him. Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. Even if you go for a non-lethal route and shoot him with a tranquilizer dart, the game will still count him as being dead. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. After you've killed him, head inside the mansion. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. 